Cause I be in the hood like an engine block Dude, that rhetoric you spit, I ain't hearing it What's up, my people? This is Show Biz The Dope. So, I received a question by one of my show business partners, and I received it yesterday, and I think this may be the greatest question I've ever been asked, ever. And he asked, Show Biz The Adult, tell me specifically why you love boxing so much. What do you love most about boxing. So I think it deserves the truest, the best, most full response I could possibly give, okay? The reason why I love boxing and the reason why it spoke to me and the reason why I'm so passionate about it is because boxing, it is the purest, it's the purest reflection of life. And I think it is the most honest thing you can participate in because it's so barbaric. When I was a kid, I was like maybe nine, 10 years old. And I asked a question to this, to a friend of mine that really separated him and I, okay? And that is, we were looking at a playground fight. There were two kids fighting and they were really getting it in, okay? And one kid was beating the hell out of the other kid, all right? And everybody was hopping around like flying monkeys from the Wizard of Oz, okay? They're hopping around and they're looking at these kids and they're cheering them on and they're laughing and they're like, oh my God, you getting your butt whooped. And the fight was pretty much over. One kid defeated the other kid, okay? I mean, we, we kind of broke it up, separated the kids. And my friend, told me, dang, he really got his butt kicked. And I looked at my friend, this is me at nine, 10 years old. I looked at my friend and I said, okay, but would you fight the loser? That was my question. Would you fight the loser? Yeah, yeah, he got his butt kicked, he got whooped. All right, would you fight the loser? No. The answer was no. When I challenged him, the answer was no. Why? Because you know he will fight. See, that's why I got boxing as the most honest and purest. It is the big, it creates the biggest gap between um, someone real and someone fake. It creates the biggest gap. Now, there may there's some grades in between where you get closer and closer to real, all right? But boxing creates that because it's so intimate. Mano y mano, no one else can help us out. When you step in those ropes, when you step in that ring, you got a coach and you got two guys hashing it out, uh, taking care of their differences, all right? We all sit back in our living rooms, on our couch. We sit back and we criticize these guys that while we're sleeping, they're running miles. While we're on our couch, catching up on our favorite shows, they're in the gym thinking about somebody who is over there preparing to kill them. I watch basketball. A guy goes to the hole, he gets fouled or something like that pretty hard, he hits the ground and he starts rolling around the court. He's grabbing his head. You don't know exactly what's hurt. He is showing that he's hurt. I'm showing everybody that I, I tried hard, I hit the ground, and I'm hurt. And then he gets up and something miraculous happens. He looked like he was going to die on that court. But he gets up and he starts running down the court like he never even got hurt. Because he wasn't that hurt to begin with. These athletes are trying to show that they're hurt. Boxing is different. Boxing, you're trying to convince everyone that it didn't hurt. And that makes it a pure reflection of life. Parents, all you parents out there, when it's hard to pay the rent, when you don't know when the next meal is coming, you don't look at your child and you don't tell your child, hey man, I don't know uh, if we're gonna be able to make it this month. No, you look at your child and you smile. Your child never sees the, never see the speed bumps and the barriers and the potholes. Your child is smiling and laughing and you're dancing in front of your child and you're, you're not showing any level of pain, discomfort, or hurt because you're trying to convince your child that life is not that rough right now. 
we're doing fine. And it's not on you. All of this is on me and you're blind to it. You have no idea what's going on. That's what you do as a parent. And that's what boxers do in the ring all the time. In life, you should prepare. In boxing, they train. In life, you should set bars and challenges so you can grow and get better. And sometimes, sometimes you believe that you can do it. You're convinced that you can't because somebody shut you down. You get up again and that challenge is just too great for you. And then you find out something about yourself. Do I get up again? And if I can't get up, if I am done and I go back home and my head is down, can I rebuild myself spiritually and emotionally? And if boxing is no longer my thing, can I apply what, I, what I've learned to something else? That's life. You got guys right now, if you want to talk about today and you want to talk about honesty, you got guys in my comments saying stuff about me because they can see me. They see me. They see my thoughts. They know what's going on and they're high, they're, they can hide. You see, they don't put themselves out there. They can hide and it makes them feel good to say negative things about me. Right? But that is another, another example of the gaps. I'm a real one. If you can feel good hiding behind a keyboard or something and say something about somebody else, you know yourself. You know yourself why you're like that. You got gangsters. You got thugs. You got people who rather kill somebody than take a loss, to take a butt whooping. Okay? they rather kill somebody, affect their families forever. Because they're too afraid. See, boxing wipe all of that out. Boxing is just y'all two. You walk alone. You live alone. You die alone in that ring. It's honest. It's just like life. You come into the life buck naked by yourself. And when you go, you're going. Just you. So that's why I love boxing. The purest reflection of life. And it's the most honest thing you can do. Showbiz the adult. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I love this. I'm out. Oh,